Aha! Hello there. Good morning and welcome. Welcome back me. Welcome back you. It's Keith from Keith Speaking Academy. And welcome. And today we're going to be looking at the interesting topic of skills, right? Developing skills, as in up here. So we'll be looking at skills. I mean, maybe that's skills in your everyday life, like for hobbies or at home, right? Cooking, looking after the baby, singing, playing a guitar, maybe, or maybe professional skills, right? Like programming a computer. We'll be looking at all sorts of different skills and the language you need to talk confidently about skills, especially for IELTS speaking. Right, a quick hello. It's been um, it's been a while, right, for you who follow me regularly. I, I was away last week. Um, I took a week off to relax and just take a bit of time away from the computer most of the time. Um, we didn't actually travel very far. We stayed in Spain, in this province of Cantabria, up in the north of Spain, because it's got some lovely beaches. So we actually just stayed here. We went camping, which was great fun. Um, we saw the stars at night. Uh, we saw the beach. We went on the beach. Um, it was extremely warm, um, but it was lovely. It was nice. So quick hello to you, all of you. Hello, uh, Anchal Guprit Rimpa. Unique style. Interesting. Uh, and Anchal Ajaypal Filin. Hello. Glad you're back as well. Abby Lasha, Amrit, Eliza, good morning. Nice to see you here. Yasmin and Bosha and Prachi, Madiv, Sheena. So many of you here. Hello, all of you. Welcome back. Sing's Kitchen. <laughs> Are you cooking a brunch, maybe? Is it time for brunch? Maybe you could cook something up for us, Sing's Kitchen. Uh, my holiday was great, Cosmic SS. Thank you very much. It was really nice to relax, um, to go walking on the beach um, and to have some fun with the tent. <laughs> we went camping. We had two tents and we were the classic family who've not used the tent for years and we forgot how to put it up, where the sticks go in and it kept falling down and then collapsed on us. <laughs> and all the other campers, right, who are professionals, right, and they're going, what are they doing? They've got no idea. And all, you know, we just had the tents. These other people, they had the camper van, the chairs, the table, the barbecue, and we had sandwiches. <laughs> We're not professional, but it was great fun anyway. Great. Ajay Pal, thank you very much. Nice to see you here. Good morning, Clara, Danya, Shiplu as well. <laughs> Savara, good morning. Nice to see you. And the guys from Facebook, just to remind you, um, if you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, it's um, it's called Keith IELTS uh, Mastermind Community. Um, do go and have a look at it. Come and join us. Um, and we're doing lots of stuff. I mean, a, a big hat off. If I had a hat, I would take my hat off to all of the students in the group. It's the most amazing group I've ever been in. Um, the participation is fantastic. Um, people are sharing ideas, vocabulary. You're very proactive. And people are even, even now sharing videos and audios of them speaking to share what they're learning and get feedback. It's really cool, guys. I'm so, so proud of you. I think it's absolutely amazing. So do come and join us. Facebook, guys, I can't see your name because of my software. I can't see your name. So I'm afraid I just get Facebook unknown, like a hundred unknowns. But I know who you are, right? Michelle, welcome. New here, but nice to see you here. Brilliant to see you here. Good morning. Kirat, as I was saying, very nice holidays. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Lorraine. Welcome back. So it's good to see all of you here as well. Um, Ah, best wishes for your wife also, M-N-U-K Lee. Thank you very much. That is amazing that you remembered that today, 4th of August, is my wife's birthday. Um, so later, we'll be giving her the presents and the, um, the cards and maybe a cake if she's lucky, if she behaves herself. <laughs> Do you know what I've bought? Do you know what present I've bought for my wife? Let me show you. 
A bag. A bag. I'm whispering so she doesn't hear or hear the chain. She might think it's a chain to tie her up. No, it's a bag. It's one of those, it's a nice bag. It's um, Victorio Lucinio. I don't know. It's a, But she loves bags, right? Now, I don't know about you, your husbands and wives and boyfriends and girlfriends, but my wife is the hardest person to buy presents for. Very, very, very difficult. And after almost 20 years of marriage, we've we've got an agreement that actually um, we go and buy the presents together. So she actually knows she's got this. She chose this, right? <laughs> she knows. Because in the early years, right, I would try and surprise her with this present. And it was like, oh, don't, I've already got that. I don't need that. And it was so difficult to get something that in the end we agreed. We'll go together. We'll buy it. And then I wrap it up, right, and give it to her. And she opens it goes, oh, how did you know? <laughs> we have this little game, right, where we kind of pretend to know what we're get, get, get getting each other or giving each other. So that's it. That's her birthday. Thank you very much. Well done for re remembering. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> right, let's have a look. How are we doing? Um, Alexi, I love your uh, comment here. I failed on my speaking test. Uh, congratulations to me. That's a great attitude. Listen, you haven't failed, right? You are just where you are now and you need to go up a bit. Um, so that's why we're here to help you. Um, so we can give you a real congratulations in the future. <laughs> right. Okay. It's her birthday today. Yes, that's right. It is Juliana. So big happy birthday. Thank you very much, Rimba. And anybody, well, everybody else, congratulations. Thank you. Estella's in Mexico. Buenos dias. Bueno, si, sí, buenos dias. No, it must be early morning in Mexico. It must be very early. Right. <laughs> Thank you, unique style as well. Brilliant. So let's move on. Um, Thank you for all of the worth birthday wishes. That's great for my wife. So today we're going to look at skills, right? Um, and skills, um, well, skills, let's see. We can be talking about skills for your hobbies, right? Maybe you play football, you've got some football skill. Maybe you play the guitar, you've got a lot of skill on the guitar. Um, and maybe you've got, you know, different kinds of skills at work, professional skills, right? Maybe you can design a website or program a computer, or you're very good with people, right? Good people skills. Let's begin, right, looking at a bit of um, detail about some vocabulary for skills. It's always nice to begin with a bit of vocabulary, okay? So here, first of all, it's an important skill. So skill can be countable, okay? It can be countable if we say it's an important skill. Get rid of that. Um, and that's an activity that needs training, right? Any kind of activity where you need to train to practice, like riding a bike, right? You need to practice, and it's a skill. So notice uh, it, it, lots of skills use the gerund, right? So we say riding a bike is an important skill. Using a computer is an important skill. Active listening, right, ING, is an important skill. All of these are important skills. Great. Um, now, you've got some other ideas. You've come up with cooking skills. Brilliant. Okay, some good questions. Cooking skills is, is good. That's great. Um, Somebody else put another one. Crafting skills. Yeah, crafting skills is good. Okay. Um, 7RC, can't we say strategy rather than saying skill? No, strategy is different from a skill, right? A skill is an activity that needs training. A strategy is very, very different. That is the, the plan or the approach you have to solve a problem or the approach in order to do something, right? So my strategy for building my business is in the first few months, I do this. In the next year, I do that. So it's more like a plan, a strategy. A skill is the ability, right? It's an important skill, an activity that needs training. 
Okay. Um, I like to learn new skills. So notice it's countable, right? We can count. I have a lot of skills. Okay. So that is quite clear, right? But notice, right, it can also be uncountable. The skill of a teacher is being able to listen. Now, here it's uncountable. It's the ability to do something well. Um, it's similar to expertise, ability, proficiency. These are all nice synonyms. So, for example, Messi has a lot of skill, right? It's not plural. He has a lot of skills. That's a different thing. Messi has a lot of skill. It's just uncountable when it comes to football, right? So here we're using it as an uncountable noun. Okay, good, great. <laughs> Let's see, we've got some other skills, brilliant. We've got driving skills from Sajan. Dancing skills, right, or dancing skill, very, very good. Um, <laughs> Kawar, speaking English fluently is a skill in itself. That's nice. A skill in itself. That's a lovely expression. Um, Kawar, what you were typing so fast <laughs> that you got a spelling mistake. Not to worry, but it's a lovely expression, right? I really like that. Speaking English is a skill in itself, right? It's a really nice expression. Catherine talks about nursing skills. And of course, you'll have different levels of skills, what we call sub-skills. So the nursing skills, people coming in, <laughs> the nursing skills, right, may involve sub-skills like patient care, lifting a, a, a patient, um, taking blood samples from a patient, possibly different skills. The skill of self-defense, that's right, great. So you've got all of these different skills. And of course, we've got communication skills, speaking skills, what often we call soft skills, right? Brilliant. So let me jump in, actually, straight in to... Actually, I'm going to go straight into soft skills. No, I'm not. I'm going to go into collocations. <laughs> ah, collocations. I have good something skills, right? So I have good communication skills. I have good cooking skills. Um, I have good management skills. So all of these, you can say, I have good swimming skills. So here we'd put it as a plural. If it was, I had good swimming skills, we would probably put it in the plural. Communication skills. Yeah, brilliant. And that's one of the most common ones. Okay. Um, we can also say, I'm skilled at cooking. I'm adept at cooking. It's the same thing. I'm a dab hand at cooking. It's the same thing, really. Okay. Now then, let's just go through this together. Um, because I think this is easy to read, but not easy to say. Right. So when we say I am, of course, normally we say I'm, I'm skilled at. Right. We would normally collect, connect. I'm skilled at cooking and the at becomes a, at. I'm skilled at. I'm skilled at. Can you repeat that with me? I'm skilled at. I'm skilled at. I'm skilled at cooking. You see the T, we don't T, we just t, uh, t. I'm skilled at cooking. I'm skilled at swimming. Say again. I'm skilled at swimming. Nice. Actually, I'm not skilled at swimming. I'm a terrible swimmer. I'm adept at, I'm adept, sorry, adept. I'm adept at, say with me. I'm adept at, that's a hard one, right? I'm adept at cooking. I'm adept at painting. I'm adept at speaking English. 
<laughs> nice, very good. And the last one, let's try this one. I'm a dab hand at. I'm a dab hand at. I'm a dab hand at. It makes it easier if you stress the dab. I'm a dab hand at cooking. I'm a dab hand at painting. I'm a dab hand at presenting. Lovely. Nice. Very nice. Great. So work on the pronunciation. Really important. Some other nice expressions here. Um, I need to hone my ba 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 skills, right? So we can say this for any. To, to hone my skills means to perfect, right? To perfect, um, to improve, let's say, to improve and perfect. So to hone my skills. I need to hone my cooking skills. I need to hone my English speaking skills. Hone is a lovely long vowel, right? Hone. Watch the mouth. Hone. Right? Not home. Mm -mm. Hone. I need to hone my cooking skills. It's a beautiful sound. I need to hone my computer skills. Okay? So it's like to perfect, to improve, or to master. Right? You could also say to master your skills. Lovely. Good. Let me come back. Let's see how you're doing. There was a couple of questions I noticed. Um, synonym of skill. Right? Good. Um, expertise, ability. Well, if skill... It, it depends, right? Um, if it's the uncountable, then expertise, ability, proficiency, um, ability, maybe. Right, Sheena says, I'm a professional chef. I learned cooking ages ago. Great, good. Amila, capability is a nice, yep, is a nice um, synonym. <laughs> Navina has learned how to move his ears like a monkey. <laughs> That's a skill in itself. That's a skill in itself. Great. Juva, I want to learn technical skills. Right. Good. Great. Um, so, Juliana has an interesting question. Is talent and skills the same? Well, no, because talent is a, an ability you are born with, right? It's a natural ability you are born with. If you're talented at singing, it's something you have from birth. I know you can't sing at birth. <laughs> and then you burst into song, right? It's a singing baby. No, but um, the talent is from nature. Skill is from nurture. Skill is something you develop, right? It's something you develop with training. So you can be a skillful football player, but maybe not talented. Um, often... They, are, they, they happen at the same time, right? Somebody who's talented, they're good at the sport, but they are slightly different. Now, Rita says, can singing be, be a skill? Yes, absolutely. It can be a skill. You can develop singing, singing right? Like speaking as well. Uh, good English speaking skills, yes. <laughs> right, and we have these skills, right? Persuasive skills, um, we also have mental skills like solving mass problems. Brilliant. Good. Right. Very good question here from Domenico. I have cooking skills or cooking skill, right? So if you talk about cooking skills, you're making it countable, right? And it's about your ability to do something, right? Um so your cooking skills include, I can boil, uh, I can bake, I can roast, um, I can steam fish, right? These are all the skills that I can count, right? It's the different abilities. But your cooking skill 
is your proficiency, your expertise. It's the uncountable, right? I have, you know, my cooking skill is is better than uh, is better than I was going to say my wife's. No, no, surely not. My my wife's cooking skill is better than mine, right? That's her a proficiency and ability. So small difference there. Yeah. Right, Gusti, nice question. What does skill sets mean? So we talk about a skill set um, is a set of skills, right? So my cooking skill set includes baking, boiling, steaming, frying, roasting. It's the skill set. It's a group, right? A group of skills. Excellent. Good. <laughs> yes. Hell no. Very good. Watching you attentively is also a skill in itself, or a skill itself is also good. Yes. Good. Imran, I want to hone my English speaking expertise. Nice. Good. Um, quality, not the same as skill. No, skill is ability. Quality is, is how good something is the quality of the material right the quality of the microphone the quality of the um i don't know the quality of my coffee is it good coffee or not it's not about expertise or capability it's definitely different right now as we look at vocabulary um just very quickly um, i want to share with you again the Ausdic, because I mentioned earlier collocations, right? Collocations are so important. And I think it's really, really useful to use the right tools to help you with collocations. So let me share with you this tool over here, which I've shown you before, and I will show you again. Oh, it's the Ausdic, unfortunate but interesting name. Okay, if you go to Ausdic.com, Right. Um, let's get rid of that man over there. Try that again. There we go. If we go into Ausdic, right, and we look up skill, then it's this is a, an amazing tool, right? It gives you collocations, right? So words that you can use with skill, a considerable skill. He's a con he's he is a negotiator of considerable skill right? Interesting. Extraordinary. Great skill. He's a football player of great skill. We can talk about good skills, poor skills, basic skills, essential skills, right? All of these are adjectives. Really useful. Um, managerial skills. Now, that would be useful, right, in, in to talk about. I have some good managerial skills or good negotiating skills, it's a great source. You can also hear talk about a skill range, a range of skills, uh, a set of skills, as somebody mentioned earlier. She had to develop a whole new set of skills, right? Or we've got verbs to have, to possess, to lack a skill, to pick up a skill, right? To learn, to develop, acquire. I mean, this is like a treasure chest of information. So everything you know, look, there's hone, right? To hone, improve, sharpen your skills. I love that. That's really, really nice. Sharpen your skills. So I think this is a really useful tool to help you see some collocations. Don't feel you have to learn them all, right? This is a reference tool. It's like a dictionary. You don't learn everything in the dictionary. But just to help you maybe check if your thinking is correct, right? Is it have a skill or get a skill? Let's check. Use Ausdic. It's a really nice tool um, to check your collocations, right, with any word. So that's all well and good. I have a question then for you, okay? A very, very simple question. Um, and I like to ask questions because it gives me time to drink my coffee. No, I like to ask questions because I want interaction. I want to see how you're doing. So here's my question for you, right? What skills do you have? Hmm, what skills do you have? Let's have a look what you say. Hmm. 
<laughs> Do Khan Ngang, don't worry, you're a bit late, don't worry. Just settle down, get ready. Eating skill. <laughs> Who has an eating skill? Come on. Right. So Chuviet has programming skills. Ananda has an eating skill, seriously. Um, Gulsafa has cooking skills. Cooking skills I have. That's very poetic. Sounds like Shakespeare, Gulsafa. I have cooking skills. Cooking skills I have. That's very Shakespearean. Wow, very nice. Anisha has crafting and drawing skills. Sandeep, now you probably work in IT, I'm guessing, because troubleshooting skills are very important skills for people in IT, right? Estella has nursing skills. Lovely. Good. Sonita has drawing skills. Fantastic. Uh, Prab, um, I will get back to you. I, yes, one or two. It's The problems with the PDF are probably your browser. Try a different browser. That's normally the problem, but I'll get back to you. Mohit has painting skills. Yeah, Catherine has persuasion skills, really. Who do you persuade, Catherine? Do you persuade your family or your boss or your co-workers or subordinates? Manu Kaili has cooking and stitching. That's interesting, right? Interesting skills. Elnur, I think Ozdig is one of the best. Yep. Yeah. Wow, we've got a great teacher here, Zainab. I'm skilled at teaching science. Well done. We need you in the world because we need more and more science teachers who can teach well, right, as well. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> Victor's like, I have a profound expertise in procrastination. <laughs> I think we all do, yes. Oh my, I bet you are skilled at something. I really, when you ask other people, and I'm sure you'll find out you are skilled at something. Mary, brilliant. I'm a dab hand at cooking. Well done. It's the daily task that I'm super jazzed to do. I love cooking. Let me get rid of me. What do you love cooking? Italian dishes like spaghetti bolognese and seafood pasta. Great. Mary, very, very nice. So you've all got lots of different skills and nice ways of expressing it, right? Right. You don't have to use skill. You can say, I'm a keen swimmer. Brilliant. You can also say playing chess well, right? Really nice. So you can express it in different ways. Brilliant. Some very nice ideas there, guys. Good. Good. Zainab, I'm adept at cooking. Adept is one word. Sorry, just to make that clear for everybody. I know you're typing, but just to make sure everybody's clear, I'm adept. It's one word. It's an adjective, right? Excellent. Yeah, so like Yellow has written here, I'm adept at cooking and singing. Yeah, very nice. Very, very good. So you've all got different kinds of skills. I love the ones who are like, I'm into sleeping skills. <laughs> Some of you have got sleeping skills. And some of you are talking about sport as well, which is excellent. Okay, um, I'm going to mention very briefly something that is, well, I, I have been very, very fortunate in that I have worked in education in many, many countries um, and worked with education departments in different countries. And one of the big, big focuses now for young people and schools is something we call 21st century skills. Now, you may have heard of this before, or maybe not. I don't know. 21st century skills are actually the soft skills, right? So here's the thing. When I went to school, um, we didn't really focus on soft skills, right? We focused on knowledge, actually, rather than skills, knowledge. We learn things. We memorize things. We uh, repeat things. And that's how we learned. Um, and the businesses and the companies around the world now are saying, listen, these kids coming out of school, they don't have the skills we need, right? They don't need knowledge, right? They need 
first of all, to know how to find knowledge. You don't need it all up here, but you need to know how to find knowledge. And they need soft skills. They need problem solving, creativity, um, teamwork, negotiating, interpersonal skills. They need these skills to deal with people. That's the most important, right? And in fact, companies are saying they don't need to learn how to do, to program a computer, to design a website. We can teach them that. We can teach them knowledge, but they're lacking. They're lacking in soft skills. And it, it's really important, right? 21st century skills. And this is something you can talk about in your IELTS test as well, right? Mention soft skills. So this is things like communication, um, problem solving. Somebody talked about uh, troubleshooting. Same thing, problem solving. Um, it's also about teamwork, right? The, one of those other ones. Um, help me out here, guys. What else? Soft skills. Motivating people. Yeah, that's a key skill, right? As a manager, gosh, if you can't motivate people, motivating others leadership is another soft skill in a way it is leadership good nice analytical skills um social skills yeah you can talk about social skills socializing we often call them interpersonal skills right so to be able to interact with people um negotiating skills so all of these are the soft skills presentation skills yeah good listener listening skills do you remember we talked about active listening active listening is <laughs> it's a really good skill active listening is where you listen but you you don't think about your answer it's really hard to do because when people are speaking you're thinking about your answer Excuse me. You're thinking, what am I going to reply? What advice should I give? Which opinion shall I give? And, and it's a, a continual thinking, thinking. Active listening is where you stop thinking, right? You just listen. And you listen. And you really focus. We talk about listening with your head, with your heart, um, and listen with your whole body, really. And then when the person finishes, you go, hmm. And then you can start thinking about a reply if necessary. But it's a really difficult skill to do, man. Active listening with ears and eyes, Punet. Thank you very, very much. It's true, right? Active listening with ears and eyes because your eyes, you can see the emotion, the feeling. If somebody's happy or if somebody's angry, you can pick up on that not just from your ears, but from your eyes and from your heart. So it is really, really difficult, but very, very important, especially in, um, well, in management, in teaching, in being with people, right? Brilliant. <laughs> Angel, being a sweet talker. I think being a sweet talker is like being with your your girlfriend or boyfriend is more more about that. You're a sweet talker. I guess, I mean, you can use it in business as well. You're a sweet talker. You can persuade me with your, like salespeople, right? Sometimes are sweet talkers. Brilliant. So we've got soft skills uh, as opposed to hard skills. Um, so the soft skills is more about how you do things, right? Hard skills, more about what you can do, like using a computer, designing a website, product knowledge. So sometimes hard skills are like knowledge in a way. So that's quite interesting. Listen, guys, there's a really interesting website I was looking at um, when I was preparing this class. Um, and I'll just share it with you. I think I put it here. Yeah, this one. This website, let me just share it with you is quite interesting. It's all about the most important skills for your resume. So if you are ever looking for a job, right, this is an interesting website and it's full of interesting language that you can use to talk about skills, right? Um, look at this. <clears throat> if I can get it the right size. 
99 key skills for a resume, the best list, list of examples for all jobs. So these are the key skills you should put on your resume to, or your CV to look good, right? Hey, how cool is that? Um, so <clears throat> basically, it, this, it will give you examples of the 99 best skills to put on a resume. So what have you got here? <clears throat> it's interesting. It shows you how to do it as well. So instead of just listing, like here, just listing, you know, leadership, blah, 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 blah. Um, no, it says what you should do is put them over here like this. Get rid of me, <laughs> Keith. Put them down and then put how good you are, dot, 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 dot. Agile and scrum, business process improvement, vendor management, keynote MS office stuff like that it's interesting stuff oh now then wait come back okay um you've got top skills and it's so they talk here now are these are these soft or hard these are soft right creativity um pers interpersonal communication critical thinking that's the other one problem solving, public speaking, blah, 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 blah. Listen, I'm not going to go through them, but it's a very interesting website. Um, just go, it's Zeti, right? Z-E-T-Y. Go to Zeti. And this website actually shows you how to write, how to write a, a, a CV. It will actually help you write a CV, a resume. It's very interesting. Right, enough Zeti. I'll put the link in the notes for today's class. But just check out zeti.com. It's one of their blog posts. 99 skills. What skills to put on a resume? Okie dokie. If you're looking for a job, it's great. And if you're not looking for a job, but you just want to talk about skills, it's also great. Good. Now then. <clears throat> oh. Oh, <laughs> everybody's gone strange languages. Sorry, not strange, unusual languages. We've got some Russian. Is that Malay? I'm not sure. <clears throat> right, riddle, the girly. You're absolutely right. It's time for the riddle. Um, if you're new to the class, welcome. <laughs> I always do a riddle just for a few minutes to change activity. Um, where can I get today's class notes? That's a good question. So today's class notes, let me just tell you before we do it. You get the class notes um, on the website, right? This is a cool, if you're into Google Chrome, right, there's a cool thing called Mixit. And Mixit is absolutely brilliant. Um, it gives you a different browser, <laughs> sorry, a different picture every time you um, enter it. So the keyspeakingacademy.com, keyspeaking keithspeakingacademy.com, it's the new website. Um, the old one had to close down because of, well, because of the British Council and because of me. Um, and that, it, we're, we're still in discussion. <laughs> um, but everything now sits on here. And I am going to update this um, as the as time goes past, okay? Um <clears throat> Yeah, I'm. Tr there's so much stuff that needs uploading. It takes quite a bit of time, so I am doing it gradually, um, as as soon as I can. But if you go to the homepage, go to free live lessons, and there you can then click on free live lessons, and you get here the notes. So the lesson notes for the class, uh, the video are here. Just download them, and that's where they are. Super. Super. Let's move on. Let's have a look at today's riddle, right? I'm going to put it up here for you. And this is a tough one, right? This is so difficult. I guarantee you will not get this. I have looked high and low, far and wide to get the most difficult, <laughs> the most difficult challenge ever. Here we go. What eight letter word can have a letter taken away and it still makes a word. Take another letter away and it still makes a word. 
keep on doing that until you have one letter left and it's still a word. What is the word? Ha! <laughs> Not envelope. Oh. Not empty. No. Cow stub, you're a star. Well done. But shh, don't tell anybody yet. So easy today, Elisa. Yeah. <laughs> so it's an eight letter word, right? Let me think about it. Oh, Maggi. Oh. Eight letter word. Oh, come on, without searching the internet. If you've Googled it, doesn't count. <laughs> Some of you have Googled it because you're spelling it wrong. Oh, serendipity, that's interesting. Any clue, look at the comments because quite a few people have got it. <laughs> not activity. Eight, not eight. Advocate. No, it doesn't work. I don't think it works. Alphabet, no. Uh, Hui Eng Yu, well done. You got it right and you didn't Google it. Well done, you. Everyone just Google. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's the trouble right nowadays. So what I'll do next time, I'll make up one that's not on Google. Right, so you've got the answer, right? It's starting. It's starting. And why? The word is starting because if you take away the T, staring. Take away the A, string. Take away the R, sting. Take away the T, sing. Take away the G, sin. Take away the S, in. Take away the N, I. Whoa. How cool is that, hey? How cool are you guys for getting it? So many of you got it without using Google. Wow, how do you do that? <laughs> so that's it. Nice, right? Amazing. GG Mimi says it's amazing. It is amazing. Okie dokie. So <laughs> I am going to move on. I've got another question for you, actually. Um, my next question is the following, right? This is a quick question because we've talked about soft skills. I talked a bit about school, right? About things that you do at school. So I want to know um, what skills did you learn as a child? What skills did you learn as a child? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Skills as a child. Okay, let's add a few. So as a child, Sunita says swimming. Teji says reading. Okay. Of course, the reading and writing. We call them in England the three R's, right? Reading, writing, arithmetic. Why is it the three R's? I don't know. Well, the R, R, R. Reading, writing, arithmetic. <laughs> the three R's. Listening to elders. That's a nice one. Listening to. Remember, you must listen to people. Listening to elders. Right. Also, many schools, you learn football skills. Um, you learn... Okay, independent is the adjective, so you must either say to be independent, right? Or independence, if it's the noun, right? So, Saul San, thank you very much, to be independent. Many schools, I guess you learned this, yeah, your public speaking. Um, yep, as Nikhil says, speaking, riding a bicycle, that's a common skill, right, that we, we often use. Kawa, you're obviously a millennial. How to use a computer? I'm obviously an older person. I did not use or learn how to use a computer. 
This is interesting, right? Managing emotion skills, which is absolutely right. Managing your emotions is a very powerful skill that you may learn at school, but you may learn from your parents, right? Yep. I learned to do that maths. Okay. Wow. Somebody here, leadership skills you learn as a child. Wow. Brilliant. Well done. Um, swimming is quite a common one. That's right. <laughs> Deepesh, quite good. Crying and convincing as a baby, we learn to do that, right? We do learn that skill, absolutely. It's all a kind of communication skill. Brilliant, very good. And I guess, yeah, nowadays, a lot of people learn typing. Excellent, good. Now, Sheena learned how to make an omelette. I can just about read that. Nice one here, yes, from Tompig. Uh, walking. When you're a baby, right, you, you learn the skill of work, walking. So all of these different skills, fantastic. Okay, good. Now let's move on from the past, right? When we're talking in the past, remember, I learned it's how to, we're, we're going to be using the past tense. I learned how to walk, right, swim, right, all of those. You're going to be using the past tense. Let's switch because very often in IELTS, you switch into different tenses. Um, now, the question here is, what skills will young people need in the future? Now, I'm actually going to do um, a poll with you, and we've used this before, but I'm going to use it again. What skills will people need in the future? It's a good question, right? What skills will young people need in the future? Now, you can answer in the comments, but I'm also going to do a little poll with you um, and I'm going to get you to participate with me. This is using a, a special app. So let me set this up and then you can come in, right? Um, so here we go. <laughs> So let me explain how this works, okay? Um, basically, here's the question. Basically, no, wait a minute. <laughs> I need to present it. Ah, here we go. Right. What skills will young people need in the future? So what you need to do, guys, is to go to www.menti.com. That's www.menti.com. Um, and put in the code 575623. Okay. Go to that website, or there's an app if you like, um, and put in the code 57. 5623 and then put in your answer right i've given you a choice of four here teamwork problem solving creativity or leadership let's find out what you think is the most um important skill young people will need in the future oh Interesting. Teamwork started strong. Now creativity is getting strong. Problem solving is coming up quickly and it's growing faster and faster. Problem solving is coming up second. Creativity is leading the race. Burning ahead. Poor leadership is falling way, way behind. Keep putting your answers in. And if you can't get in, you can participate through the comment box. Yeah, and there, of course, there are lots of other abilities. Oh, problem solving has just overtaken and it's drawing problem solving. Hello. Hello, what's that? That's strange. Right. You're still coming in. Problem solving is getting higher than creativity.
Right, good, I'll stop you there. Problem solving seems to be, right, the highest one. Very, very interesting. Right, let's move on to the next question. 157 people on there. Brilliant. Well done. Okay. Right. Bear with me a moment because we're now going to move on to the second question. And I'll just need a moment. So the next question is, a, is an open question. For the second question, you can actually type in your answer. Right. What is the most important skill you will need in the future? This time, again, at menti.com, type in your answer and let's see what you say. We may get some new ideas. Managerial skills. Interesting. Computer skills. Interesting. Coding. Right. Yeah. Coding. That's a good one. Creativity and innovation. We've still got lots of problem solving. Coding skills are coming in. Knowledge. There's a wide range of skills that I need to master. The most important is conversation skill. That's true. Using technology, right? Look, leadership's come back. Decision making skills. Those are really important. Communication's coming up a lot, right? Kind of being able to communicate interpersonal skills. Very, very nice. Patience. Yeah, patience is a virtue. Patience is a skill. Um, speaking English. Hooray. Critical thinking skills. Socializing. Logical thinking. <clears throat> I guess with technology growing, that's really important. Digital marketing absolutely is, is very, very important because we're selling things online more and more, right? Coding is coming up again. Attitude. I wonder if attitude is a skill. Maybe it is, actually. Maybe it is. Um, psychologic skills with a P, but very good. Technological skills, general knowledge, controlling yourself. Brilliant. Some great skills here. Really interesting. CRP skills for nursing, right, in your field. Thinking out of the box. Nice expression. That's really good. Soft skills, persuasive skills. I'm trying to guess what job the different people are doing. Secure environment. Is that a skill? Mm, not sure. Being bold to take actions. Yeah, bravery could be a skill. Presentation skills, especially if you're working in education or management. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Communication skills. Many people nowadays are addicted to phones and they rarely interact with others. It seems that they communicate with others less than in the past. Well, certainly face-to-face -face communication is less than the past. That has changed uh, radically. Um, absolutely. Cheating. Wow. Interesting. So, listen, there's loads, but I'm going to... I'm just going to wind up because that is really, really interesting. All the different things that have come up there. Very, very nice. Excellent. Good. So, most important skills. Lots of ideas there. Um, that's really nice. Skills for the future. I think skills for the future, it depends what job you want, you want to do, but clearly the soft skills, as you've seen there, problem solving, um, creativity, innovation, specific hard skills like coding, right? Absolutely. People will need to know how to code. Online marketing, I think. Digital marketing was another hard skill. Right. Brilliant. I'm just going to share a few comments to finish up here because there's some interesting, um, not here, but here. I hope teamwork is more important in this competitive world. That's nice. Um, Gabriella talks about new alternatives with the use of energy. Yeah, I'm not sure what the skill is there, but what would the skill be there, Gabriella? Creativity. Creativity will be crucial, right? Good. It's Loom. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Sorry. Um, good. Good. Any others? Problem solving. 
Here we've got Swati. Youngsters need to develop agility and adaptability to different roles and environments in the future. That is so, so true, right? Because young people are nowadays more and more changing job so much more quickly than in the past. I mean, in, in, in my day, back in the day, to have a job for three, four, five years was quite normal. In fact, to have a job for 20 years in the same company was quite standard. Nowadays, being in the same company for like two years, whoa, is a long time. People will change quite quickly, change skill set, skill set, change environment, and that adaptability, yes, I agree, is so important also because as technology progresses, it's changing day by day, our ability to change into the new environment and to make the most of technology um, in our daily lives, in our professional lives, is a really high value skill that I think we will need to develop more and more. So I, I totally agree with that. I think that's a very, very good point. Adaptability is nice. And on, on the same, in the same vein, in the same way, creativity, because every now and then things are changing. As Dawn says, things are changing. So we need to be creative on how we use things around us, right? Keeping pace with the change, keeping abreast of the changes. Excellent. Good. The real world is full of problems. Oh, these skills, yep. And I was going to say what Zoe said, the real world is full of problems. It's interesting because in school, it seems like everything has an answer, right? Everything's black and white. It's correct or incorrect. But actually, the real world, nobody knows the answer. There is no correct and incorrect, unless you're doing mathematics or or even in engineering, right? You can make estimates, but you, you're never 100% sure. Um, and so making students think that everything's black and white is maybe not a good idea. Maybe we should encourage students to solve problems where there is actually no correct answer. So we get used to the uncertainty and we learn to be comfortable with uncertainty, right? It's a very important skill. Brilliant. Very, very nice. Um, guys, I'm going to wind up in a couple of minutes, but before we do, um, I'm just going to do a couple of things. One is wish people luck. Um, some people, oh, here's, this is interesting, right? I've done their test. Felicita, Felicita. I was overconfident on my speaking test. It was like an interaction. I enjoyed it. Hooray. You're after my heart. That's it. I think when you enjoy your test, that's really good. It helps your attitude. If you haven't seen my video um, on YouTube from Sunday, all about handling nerves and how to kind of cope with nerves and nervousness in the test. Um, one of my tips is to try and enjoy the test. I think that helps. So for those of you who are doing the test, like Rahila, best of luck, right? Breathe, enjoy, smile. Best of luck to all of you who are going to be doing the test in the next few days or this coming week. What's the noise in the background? It's my wife making breakfast. <laughs> Listen, we're going to finish with Kahoot unless there's any questions. Any other questions? Yeah, like this video, guys. If you're on YouTube, <laughs> please do like this video. Let me do this. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. <laughs> and also, please do turn on the notification button. <laughs> it's great. On all the YouTube videos, they say, you must tell people to like. I'm like, they know if how to like. No, but you have to tell them. Okay. Great. Before you leave, let's do some Kahoot. And Kahoot is a nice way to review some vocabulary, right? Whoa, MDA228. Seriously? Seriously? You've got a nine in the speaking section. If you did, fantastic. It's not thanks to me. It's thanks to you because you must have studied and pre prepared very, very hard for that. Okay, great. Well, well done to you. So, Kahoot. If you're new here, Kahoot is a very simple game uh, that we're going to play together to review some vocabulary. Okay, Emmy, 
go back to the comments. You'll find that answer at the start of the video. <laughs> okay, bear with me. Let's do Kahoot. So Kahoot is, I'm going to give you a few, le a few lessons, a few questions. Hey, go, come back. Let me just get the link. Let's do it. Let's Kahoot, everybody. Kahoot is a very simple game, right? And we're just going to do this to review vocabulary that we've been looking at around skills. I want to play, teach. Let me pull you in so you can see what I'm doing. So this is Kahoot. Uh, we're going to play the classic game. Ready to join. So what you'll need to do, right, is turn down the volume. That's what I need to do. <laughs> so to join Kahoot, you need to go to www.kahoot.it um, or with the Kahoot, Kahoot app, if you're on your phone, and put in 180993 and add your name. Put in your name. We can see Gabby, Dorina, Nick, so they're all joining in. I'll give you a minute to, to log in. And then we'll go straight into the questions. If for any reason you cannot log in, um, then you can put your answer in the comment box as well. Saab Rabi, I do have Instagram. It's called Keith Speaking Academy on Instagram. <laughs> Mahmoud, well done for you. That's great. 6.5 is very, very good. Mohammed Ibrahim, thank you very much for your comment. I appreciate that. Brilliant. Okay, we've got about 100 people in. That's great. So let's um, let's get ready to start. Okay. I'm going to have to move things around. I'm going to start. I know you're all still coming in. So we're going to start skills. So this is what it's all about. I'm a dab mm, at cooking. What's the right answer? Is it leg, arm, hand or head? You've got 22 seconds left. Come on, guys, quick as you can. Ten seconds. Comment boxes are coming good, except for the blue. Riz Minsha, good, well done. Abilasha, well done. Whoa, 93 got it right. It's hand, well done. I'm a dab hand at cooking. Do you remember? Which means I am skilled at, or I'm pretty good at. Actually, I'm very good at. So if you're skilled at cooking, I'm a dab hand at cooking, right? 23 said leg. <laughs> okay, let's move forward. Next. Ah, there's a scoreboard. So this is who got the answer the quickest. Siju, you're at the top of the pops. Well done. Next question, guys. Here we go. I'm skilled. Mm, football. What's the preposition? 30 seconds. At, in, on or four. Think about it. Don't think too much. Try and remember what I've said in the class. So the link is www.kahoot, K-A-H-O-O-T dot I-T. 110 got it right it's at right i'm skilled at it's the same as good at skilled at well done brilliant nice let's see where we are scoreboard yana has gone straight up to the top followed closely by gyang gopi lana and anisha right the third and final question here we go What's the answer? I need to blank my problem solving skills. Hone, home, hope, or hole. <laughs> it's 
10 seconds left. Five, four, Giwa, well done. Karuna, well done. Whoa, 122. Not everybody, but most people got it. Well done. 122 to hone your skills. Nice. Let's find out who's won today. Third place, Gopi. Well done. Second place, Lorraine. Nice one. First. Yana. Whoa, nice. Yana came first. Well done, Yana. Honing your skills. You're skilled at English. Nice one. Well done. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. That's it, guys. Listen, there's the end of Kahoot. We're there at the end of the class for today. Um, so today we've been talking all about skills, hard skills, soft skills, skills we learn as a child and skills for the future, right? All of those soft skills that we've mentioned. <clears throat> we've also looked at some different phrases and uh, useful expressions to hone your skills, to be a dab hand at cooking. That's me, even if I say so myself. I do enjoy cooking. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. It's great to see you here. Um, and on Tuesday, no, today is Tuesday. On Thursday, um, we're going to be looking at what are we going to be looking at? As always, I've totally forgotten what we're going to do on Tuesday, but I'm sure somebody in here can probably remember what it is. It's food on Thursday. We're going to be looking at food, right? So we'll be talking all about how to talk about food. Great. Thank you very much, guys. Lovely to see you here. Please do remember, subscribe, turn on notifications, like the video if you like it. This afternoon, after about three hours later, you can go to the website, uh, Keith Speaking Academy, and you can download the notes from today. I hope it can help you study and get ready for IELTS speaking. All right. Take care, my friends. Lovely to see you and good luck to all of you who are taking the test in the next few days. Okay, I'll see you on Thursday. Take care now. Bye-bye.